In this guide to the assign view, we'll show you how to access Absynth 6 global controls, set up MIDI controller assignments and macros, and use MIDI Learn. At the top of the assign view, you'll find global controls, including number of available voices, transpose, pitch bend, glide, and tuning settings. At the left of the interface, you'll find the assignments. At the top, you'll see buttons for velocity, mod wheel, aftertouch, and sustain pedal. If we click Velocity, we can see that the initial preset already has it routed to a number of parameters by default, though the depths of these are all turned down, and none of them will have an effect until we turn them up. Let's turn up the Ossel A amp fader. Now when we play a note, its velocity will determine how loudly it plays. If we click the Invert button, the modulation will be inverted, and notes with a higher velocity will play more quietly. We can remove assignments with the cross icon and add new ones with the add button. In the aftertouch section, you can turn on polyphonic aftertouch with this button. Macro controls are a useful way to adjust more than one parameter at once, and they work just like the assignments we've already seen. For example, let's assign Oscill A amp to the first macro. Now the macro will allow us to control the volume of the oscillator. If we also add Oscill A main pitch, Turning down the macro will turn down both the volume and the pitch of the oscillator. The smooth control determines the delay with which a macro affects its target parameter, preventing sudden or abrupt value jumps. Here we can also map MPE input to the macro, choosing either pressure or slide as the modulation source, and controlling the depth of the modulation with the horizontal fader. To use MIDI Learn, click the MIDI Learn button, then move a parameter. Now that parameter will be assigned to the macro. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other Absinthe 6 videos in this playlist.